This month on Films by Chris, we're looking at networks and servers. And although I'm going to go over everything I talk about in this video in more detail in future videos, this first video is just to give you a taste and go over some basic tools we're going to be using in the coming weeks. So we're going to be looking at setting up web servers. Now, uh, if you're going to be really setting up a web server, I suggest using something like Apache. That's what I normally use, but there's a bunch of other web servers out there. But there are some tools that are probably already on your system that will let you set up a simple web server, quick and easy, regardless of what version of Linux you're running. I'm going to talk about three tools a day, and they're on almost every Linux system out there. Uh, two of them will probably be on even small things like routers and other small devices. So first, let's look at HTTPD from BusyBox. BusyBox is a great tool that is on every version of Linux you'll come across, uh, including Android phones, routers, and even, you know, if you can get into the uh, console on something like a TV or other type of device, chances are BusyBox is going to be there and it's going to be the shell that's going to be being used. Now, although BusyBox can be compiled with different components, if you have a full version of BusyBox, it has a bunch of built-in tools, tools that you're used to having in the shell, all built already into BusyBox. What you need to do is first open up your shell and type in BusyBox. This will give you a list of all commands that are available for your version of BusyBox. And if you're lucky, somewhere in that list, which is alphabetical, you should find one that says HTTPD. If that's available, then you're all set for setting up a web server. All you have to do now is type in BusyBox, HTTPD, space dash p and the port number you want to start a web server on. This is the very basic function here and although there are some restrictions on many systems as far as what ports you can use if you're not root user, if you're a standard user you should be able to use uh, many of the higher ports that are available. So you can type this command out and right away it will turn the folder that you're in into the main folder, the root folder for your web server. Now, be advised this is not going to be creating a directory list for you. It's not going to be giving you a list of all the files and folders in that directory. But if you type in the name of the file in the URL, you can guide yourself to it. And of course, if you guide yourself to an HTML file, it will display that web file just like any other web server. There are many other functions of this HTTPD in BusyBox, but we'll go over that in a future video. Next up is Python. Python comes with built-in options for a very simple web server. The command is, as you can see at the bottom of the screen here, for basic functionality. And unlike the HTTPD in BusyBox, this will generate a directory list for you. So if you quickly want to share files and folders from your computer as a web server and offer up HTML files, as a web server, you can use Python with this command and it will start up in the current directory and you can access it uh, by going into your web browser, typing in your IP address and the port number that you started on. It has other functionality that we'll look at in a future video, but this is another great option. And although lighter systems such as routers and phones may not have Python built in by default, Pretty much every laptop and desktop Linux system will most likely have Python installed already. Lastly is a tool that is known as the Networking Swiss Army Knife, Netcat, also known as NC. Now, Netcat is a networking Swiss Army Knife of tools for network use and can do crazy things if you know what commands to use. It can also be used as a very, very basic HTML server web server for loading up files. Now it's definitely not nearly as powerful as the two that I previously talked about, but in a pinch you can use Netcat to serve up files and HTML files, images, and other stuff to a web browser. It's very, very basic, but can be very useful. And although you may not have a full version of Netcat already installed on your system, chances are, as I said earlier, you have BusyBox built in. And BusyBox, in many cases, will have Netcat built into it. And although it's a slimmed down version of Netcat, uh, you will still have Netcat available. So again, on smaller devices, 
uh, that have BusyBox installed as their main shell, as routers or phones and other devices, Netcat is available. And to serve up a simple HTML file, you can serve it up using this command here. And again, we'll look at that a little bit more in the future and how to make it a little more advanced and allow multiple connections because this particular command right here, once connected, Netcat will finish out and you won't be able to connect again. So it's like a one-time service unless you put it into a loop of some sort. So we'll be looking at that more in coming weeks. So again, these are basic options for setting up some very basic web servers. And although they are not full featured web servers such as Apache, they have many uses and chances are they are already on your Linux system. So I thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe so you don't miss the future videos. And as always, I hope that you have a great day and I hope that you visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, have a great day.